Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can enable uh, Guardian email summaries for your Google Classroom. Uh, I'm going to click on one of my classes here and this is a new feature that has uh, been out about a week now and if your um, Google Apps Administrator uh, for your school has turned it on it should work and ours here at Grand Rapids Christian High has turned it on. Thank you Steve and uh, you can now see if you go to the students tab that it says Guardian email summaries and guardians receive a summary of their students work and class announcements. Uh, see an example here of what that looks like. So this is the sort of thing that someone would get missing work, what's due next week, other announcements and class activities. Um, so that is something that parents and guardians would see. Now uh, you can say include this class and you can choose at that point to include all your classes which I would recommend doing because uh, even if you don't use it it's just a feature that's there. So now I can invite a guardian and I'm just gonna type in my own email address here, one of my personal email addresses uh, just to show you how it works. Alright, so I type it in, I could add another if I want to, but I'm just going to hit invite. And I've now been invited as a guardian for that student. So it's not easy to kind of, you know, do this in mass. It's something that you have to enter individual emails for. Uh, it's not a perfect feature. There, It's not nearly as good as I thought it would be. Uh, but it does give parents and guardians some information at least. Alright, so I've checked my email here and sure enough I've got one in my inbox that I've been invited uh, as a guardian in Google Classroom. So I will hit accept. And I can choose here how often I want these summaries. Uh, daily, no summaries, or weekly. And those are the only options I have. So uh, I've, you see I've been invited as another student's guardian too because I was testing this out earlier. Going back to Google Classroom here, let's see if I refresh this, if it will show that I'm no longer just invited, but actually a guardian. Yeah, see now it has changed from just invited to a guardian. Now, the guardians will have to have a Google account, and so if they don't have one, they'll have to create one. It does not have to be one of our uh, at GR Christian accounts, but it does have to be a Google account and they should be able to create a Google account with any email. They don't necessarily need a Gmail address. So that is one caveat, but uh, it is a nice feature. Hopefully soon they will implement something like just a guest access key so that guests can have full access to your Google Classroom page. Uh, the only way to do that right now, like for tutors and para pros and other support staff, would be to um, make them a teacher uh, which I'm not sure how possible that is or how realistic that is. Add them as a teacher to your page or add them as a student, but adding them as a student will have, will make more, uh, you know, not duns show up um, than you might have otherwise because probably the tutors aren't going to be doing your homework. <laughs> so that is one disadvantage right now, but hopefully we'll see something like that eventually. All right, if you have any questions, uh, ask your friendly tech coach. And that will be all for now.